Okay, today I'm gonna to be crushing frozen honey. Okay, so honey is actually a little bit difficult to freeze because it freezes at around negative 60 Fahrenheit, around negative 51 Celsius. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my honey in this mold and then embed this mold in some dry ice and that should freeze it. Okay, here's my honey mold. Let's get it in some dry ice now. Okay, so I'm boring out the center of this dry ice here to make a little mold for the honey. Let's see if it fits. Pretty good. And I'll sandwich this on top of it. And let that stay for a little bit. See if we can get some solid honey. Okay, so you can see that already it's pretty hard on top there. But what I'm going for is not just when it feels hard because it can feel solid at around negative 20 degrees Celsius, but I'm going for the glass transition temperatures when it becomes a real true solid. It becomes this amorphous glass-like material at around negative 50 degrees Celsius. So that's what I'm going for here. Okay, my honey should be completely frozen now. That little holder worked really well. Let's see if we can get it out now. So it should be, I think the best definition is an amorphous solid, a non-crystalline glass type solid. But as of right now, it is very cold. Still should use gloves to handle it. But I wanna see if this breaks like glass now or what actually happens when we crush it. Here's our negative 109 degree Fahrenheit honey. Okay, cryogenic frozen honey crushed by a hydraulic press. Three, two, one. Let's see if it cracks like glass. Or will it just ooze out? Let's see. Oh, it's slipping around. Oh no, it's escaping. The press was, oh, that's still really cold. The press is warming it up and tried to escape. Let's try that again. Oh, there it comes. <laughs> wow, that was a tough thing to crush. That was hard to keep under there. Oh yeah. So this part is still really cold. Oh wow, that's cold. So it looks like once the press came down on it, it just melted it. I thought it would kind of break like glass because it was pretty hard and brittle. But it looks like as soon as the press heated it up, it just slid out and just became normal honey again. Still really cold actually. So if you're wondering what the honey would be like if I did not freeze it with dry ice, it's just still liquid. So it's cold, but see I can still push on it. Still liquid, it just becomes more and more viscous. But if you want it to become glass-like, you need to get to very low temperatures, more than negative 50 Celsius. Hi everyone, thanks for watching again. If you haven't subscribed yet, remember to hit subscribe. And if you want me to crush something that you want to send to me, you can now send me something to my P.O. box. Check the link in this description and you can send something to me if it's cool or interesting. And you can comment in the comments section with anything that you'd like to see me crush. And I'll see you next time.